Yes, it's about that time, kiddos. You were searching and searching. You was asking for it. And now I'm going to give it to you. Okay. You wanted to learn Python. This is the place to learn Python. Codingface.com. Python is one of the most popular languages out here, period. And one of the most loved languages that is out here in the game of web development, programming, software development, etc. Right? People just love Python, right? Now, one of the things that's really cool about Python is the fact that there's jobs, high paying jobs, right? And that's where it really comes down to. You know, it's one of those languages that everybody should at least try it once or at least have enough knowledge. So the day you go to a job interview, you know, you don't get disqualified because you said, oh, I never use Python. Like you're going to look crazy out here if you just never have tried it or have never even got your hands on a Python application. Now, this course is really an introduction to Python. We're going to learn everything from the syntax. We're going to learn everything about how to work with the language, different libraries, right? Uh, creating a website with it, right? So pretty cool projects. Anybody that has ever taken one of my courses, you know that we come in and we build real projects, things that you're going to do at a job. If I'm going to come in and create a course for you in Python, it's going to be something that is going to make you an attractive, you know, candidate to any position that's out there, right? It could be for the front end. It could be for the back end. And at the same time, like it's still going to help you out because now you have that tool. Now you have that tool that you can come in and tell people, Hey man, yes, I got experience with Python. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys just the jobs, right? So just by searching, what's in the title with Python. You can see there's over a thousand jobs here in the United States on this month alone, right? Of course, things change, they go up and down, uh, but it's actually pretty good. As you can see, jobs is starting off at 80,000 plus, which is not bad at all. Now, when you do the searches for jobs when it comes to python you're going to notice a lot of things like this scientific applications you're going to see machine learning you're going to see uh, uh data driven applications right a lot of these jobs they require a degree like i'm not going to sugarcoat it okay i'm not going to come in and tell you hey man you you don't need a degree this this and that but you know what happens if you have experience as a developer and let's say for example you already been working as a developer and now you want to go and apply to your second job or your third job. Now, because you have experience and you know Python, it opens the doors for you to apply to all of this type of jobs. Okay. Now, once again, like I said, there's a lot of jobs that are going to require a computer science degree, but it's fine. Okay. And there's going to be jobs like uh, this, this kid, I forgot his name. One of the subscribers here on my channel who literally he focused on the front end, but the company that he works for the whole back end is in Python. They hire him as a front end developer. And because he also have experience with Python, he, he doesn't have a college degree. He doesn't have, uh, experience. They hire him specifically for the front end, but because he know how Python works and he knows how Django works. They already gave him the job because it just looks like, okay, at least he knows the environment that we have here, even though he might not be working on Python in the back end and he's focusing on the front end, at least he knows how the applications are built and how it actually works. Right now, once again, you can get jobs being a Python developer, right? Back end developer. But if you are a front end guy, right, it's also good to know Python. So when you go to this job interviews and their back end is in Python, you could say, Hey man, I also know Python. So I know how the environment works and how, you know, basically the code base looks like. So I could hit the ground running without you having to come in and teach me. Well, you know, now we're going to have to teach this guy how to work with Python and how the folder structures look and this, this and that. It's like, nah, I already know that you get what I'm saying. I, I want you guys to just have as many skills as possible or just enough to say, you know what? I'm comfortable with a couple of different skills. Of course, you got to master one thing, right? If you want to focus on Python, it's up to you. You want to focus on Python, right? Become a, a full-time Python developer. But there's a lot of my students who are focusing on the front end and I want to give them this exposure to Python and like that, they can actually see how those projects are. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, if you search Python by itself, there's like, yo, 
57,000 jobs out here straight up like it's crazy like python is is really big out here and even at that like most likely uh most of these companies they just adding python to to the description just because they know that hey man if you know how to code in python or your school or your you know your computer science degree focus on python then at least they know that you know how to program right so that's why they add those different um titles and and programming languages it's like right now like look see uh they're looking for a software developer in, in seymour connecticut they got php java python node.js now are they doing all of those languages i doubt it they're probably doing php or java but at least they want to say hey man even if you know python i feel like you could come in and do php and i feel like you can do java you get what i'm saying so it's actually a pretty cool language to learn so at the same time a lot of people ask me for this okay everybody constantly hits me up either in emails or comments great video after i finish my javascript when will i see that python course well buddy it's here okay now if you are a member of codingphase.com of course you get access to this course and you get early access okay so i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and let your boy know what do you think do you like python do you feel like it's gonna be something good for you something that you want to try out let me know i'm going to leave on the description a link to my website uh, with a coupon code for this course so those of you guys that are interested you can pre-order it or become members of codingphase.com and get access to all of my courses okay i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com peace